We will frequently recommend a PET scan in order to evaluate nearly the entire body. The PET scan is not really ideal at picking up uh, on malignant changes in the brain, but it does a very good job from the base of the skull down through about the mid thighs. It's a nuclear medicine scan, uh, and so it is done in the radiology department. The machine itself looks a lot like a CT scanner, just a little bit more width on the, the donut-shaped uh, hole that the patient has to go through. The patient goes fairly early for the exam and has an injection, usually uh, into the hand or the low arm of a glucose solution that's tagged with a radioactive nucleide. The PET data, the positron emission tomography data, is always combined in uh, the way that we utilize it with a CT scan. The CT scan gives us the anatomic and structural information and by looking at these together then we can isolate the areas that have the increased uh, uptake of the glucose. This material has to uh, get into the tissues, soak into the tissues, uh, basically through regular metabolic activity of the body. So what they'll do is they have you uh, rest in usually a quiet, comfortable chair. Uh, they attempt to not ask a lot of questions so that you're not using your vocal cords and the muscles of the mouth and throat very much. and uh, and prefer that you not walk around and, and use other muscles because anything that's taking in more glucose is going to show up on the, uh, on the PET exam it, itself. You can infer from that that there are some tissues of the body that would normally show up very bright on a PET scan. The heart is always using a lot of glucose as it beats, so the heart uh, always shows on the PET scan. And in fact, uh, variations of PET scan in real specific ways can actually be used to evaluate the heart. That, of course, is not why I use them. The brain always takes up a lot of glucose. Uh, var variations on the way that PET scans can be used uh, are sometimes used for in-depth analysis of brain activity and uh, various aspects of, of brain function. But the brain it, itself is not easily examined for malignancy by the PET scan because of the glucose activity there. The gastrointestinal system uh, always has a little bit of muscular activity secondary to just the normal muscular squeezing of the of the GI tract, the peristalsis. Uh, so various parts of the colon show up. The PET scan is not ideal at looking for colon malignancies but it can see something if it is large enough. The collecting system of the kidney uh, would glow brightly on the PET scan and often you can trace the entire ureter down to the bladder which would also glow uh, very brightly in most cases because of the collection of the excess radioactive tagged glucose there. Malignancy shows up on the PET scan because the cells are dividing out of control. Of course that's the definition of malignancy. The cells are using a lot of glucose. They're using the energy from your system to uh, reproduce and so when this glucose is injected into the body they uh, the tumor cells take up the glucose and they glow when the body is scanned. If there's a cluster of tumor cells perhaps a half centimeter or uh, even between a half centimeter and one centimeter in, in size let's say uh, something about like this, uh, it might not show up. Anything bigger than about a dime or so might show up on a PET scan if it has enough metabolic activity. There is a correlation between size and intensity on the scan, so the larger the mass, the brighter it will glow on a PET scan. Information from PET scans always has to be uh, compared to the other imaging studies that have been done and we have to take into consideration what type of treatment the patient has had recently. Uh, they can be uh, very helpful after chemotherapy to see if the metabolic activity of the tumor cells has decreased. After radiation, however, we generally will give it uh, time to normalize some of the inflammatory activity in the body related to the radiation itself 
prior to actually doing the PET scan because the, the result can be somewhat skewed secondary to the inflammation of the tissues. Thank you.